All right, so let's talk about um, replacing your tank drive with a, a moderated tank drive. So basically this function caps at 100% power and well that's it. You cannot have uh, maximum joystick movement for uh, let's say 70% uh, of motor power. So you, since you can do that, that can be um, quite a bother since uh, well sometimes the motors just go too fast and you cannot uh, slow them down mechanically so it's quite uh, quite cool to slow them down uh, via programming so I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, first of all we're gonna need to know about variables uh, we can use global variables or uh, local variables uh, that's not a problem as long as uh, the local variables are defined in the operator controlled section of a, of the program it's going to be fine uh, but for for safety let's use globals instead uh, it's not much of a difference so what uh, what we, what we can use here uh, is uh, we're going to use global variables, not uh, macros and constants, for absolute, absolutely no good reasons, because we actually have a few constants, but let's use uh, variables all the way. Uh, we can use chars, and etc. Chars are values from minus 127 to plus 127, which is uh, basically the main variable we're going to use, because it doesn't take much space uh, much memory and uh, it covers uh, well minus 127 to plus 127 that's the whole range of the values the the joystick sends back so yeah that's pretty useful for programming with the, the joystick ints uh, some sensors use ints unsigned means uh, they're only positive value so instead of minus 127 to my uh, 2 plus 127 this one goes from 0 to uh, 255 which is um, kind of useful but not so much because well everything is uh, from 1 minus 127 to plus 127 uh, int is quite bigger than the char uh, short is even bigger than the int long bigger than the short and these are all for whole numbers floats and doubles these are for decimal numbers and these are the ones uh, that require quite a lot of space and uh, calculation power but well the cortex is quite good compared to uh, what we used to have so we can manage a few floats here and there on the in the in the program uh, so basically that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a float. Uh, double is just too big of a, of a memory space. Um, so let's use a float uh, and you'll see why actually when we're gonna do some uh, mathematics afterwards. So we're gonna call it, uh, let's say rate. Uh, why rate? Because uh, we wanna use a percentage, a rate of, uh, of the power for the motor. And let's say we want to use half the power, then we're going to use 0 0.5 as a value. Uh, if we wanted to use 0%, which would be kind of dumb, we would use 0. If you wanted to use 100%, you would, we would use 1. And everything in between, basically 50% is 0.5. 75% uh, would be 0.75 and uh well you get you get the drift so basically if we want to go half the speed we're gonna put 0 0.5 comment uh let's say it's a uh, percentage of the full power we're going to use okay uh then we're gonna need quite a few uh variables we're gonna need a variable to stock the value uh, from the um, joystick into the VEX microcontroller. We're going to use a char for actually channel 2 and channel 3, which uh, are both uh, 
used in tank drive and we're gonna need two other ones but i, I won't put them there uh, yet i'll use them afterwards so let's go back to operator control and uh, we're gonna replace tank so let's delete this and let's do this so basically you might have wondered what is get an uh, get joystick analog get joystick digital get joystick accelerometer uh, these functions uh, they they allow us to just take a value take a reading of the joystick and store it in a memory box in a memory slot actually in the in the cortex so basically you can take the value of uh, let's say channel 2 on the controller and store it in the variable we called well channel 2 and let's take channel 3 and put it in the variable channel 3 for the moment that's pretty obvious obvious stuff so afterwards what we're going to do uh, we're gonna use in program flow there's this function called assignment assignment if well actually you can see it so well but it's mathematics basically you, you set an equation here uh, but we're missing variables so I'm gonna go define some more global variables char uh, we'll call it left motor and we'll call another one right motor and basically these two uh, what they're going to do uh, is simply uh, be the memory slot responsible for uh, holding the real signal you want to send the motors so let's take assignment and let's make an equation out of it so I want the left motor to have to be equal to the value of uh, left motor is channel 3 so I want the left motor to have the value of channel 3 multiplied by my percentage of the full power so basically here I let's say I go full trouble I go 100% here times 0.5 it's gonna give me 50% if I give half throttle then I have 50% here times 0.5 it's gonna give me 25% of power so basically we're gonna do this for the left motor and we're gonna do this for the right motor so right motor equals and note that we're using just one symbol of equal uh, if you noticed here uh, we have double equals and single equals this is to say to assign a value to a variable like right motor is going to be equal to this equation this one is to check if let's say if I use that is right motor equal to for example another variable left motor so that's the uh, basically that's the difference with double uh, double equals you're checking something and where with one equal you're telling something to the program so right motor equals to channel 2 times rate and there we go and if you want to change the rate easily then you go globals and let's say you want 75 percent then you go 0.75 and there you have it you change the the power of your motors in a single click uh this is not over yet now we have two variables with um with values but we're not sending them to the motors we're gonna use in the output folders motor module we're gonna use motor 2 which was defined as the left motor we're gonna give it a custom value this is full throttle 
in one way, this is stop, this is full throttle on the other way. User value lets you put any value you want, but we want to give it the variable left motor because left motor holds the value we want to give the motor. So there you go. And we're going to do the same for the right motor. Motor three, right motor, and there we go. So that's a fully functional tank drive with, uh, with a percentage rate of power that you can adjust. Uh, and I'm going to show you something that can make it even a little better. This is the joystick analog deadband. Uh, this is just a function that will correct um, the imperfections of the controller. The controller has joysticks with uh, springs that are supposed to go back to absolute zero, uh, but it's rarely the case, actually. Uh, sometimes it's going to go to, uh, let's say, one, two, three, four. Uh, on 127, that's not a lot, but... It's still enough to make your robot advance just a little or just your motors use a little current, but they don't move. Um, it's not it's not so good to have this. So you can use joystick analog that then. Basically, it just gives you, uh, you, you tell it, well, joystick uh, on channel number two. Joystick number is uh, basically you can use with Gore-Tex, you can use two joysticks and at the same time, two uh, controllers at the same time, actually. Uh, but in CRC, we only use one, so you, we stick it to one. Uh, so basically, if I say I, I have uh, analog channel number one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say every value between zero and four and every value between uh, zero and minus four. Uh, I wanna, I wanna uh, nullify them. So if the joystick doesn't come back exactly at the right place, no problem. Uh, it just won't come back at the right place. Uh, the motors are still not gonna run because it's gonna send zero instead of four, for example. Uh, if you want to use a variable for this, you can do so. So let's call it a char. Let's call it dead bend. And we're going to give it a value. Yeah, I usually put 10 in my robots because I'm not so confident about putting only 4. Uh, sometimes I see still signal uh, going by even with the dead bend at 4. So uh, basically the only thing you have to do is a drag and drop. You can put it right on top of the priority um, it doesn't matter so much but yeah they just say it right on top of the priority and then you put value positive dead band and there you go negative dead band there you go and basically you can repeat the process with every analog channel uh, and you always give them the dead band uh, variable instead of giving it numbers uh, the reason is uh, really simple actually uh, the reason is if you put if you make tests and well these tests um, you get to see that 10 is not uh, it's not enough of a dead band then you simply have to change instead of changing uh, eight times the the dead band for every channel you just go here, double click, dead band, you want to put 12 instead, well you put 12 instead and you're good to go. So basically that's a tank drive uh, in its full glory uh, with the dead bands added for more uh, sophisticated controls and uh, yeah, there we go.